this is where the bath was. Week two. Guys, behind this door, we have a finished bathroom. Two years later. Not exactly two years, but close enough. It's taken us quite a long time to get to this point where I can finally show you the bathroom and also, you know, have it finished. And it looks... It looks good, guys. I swear, worth the wait. Obviously, didn't intend on making you guys wait, you know, almost two years to see the bathroom. But, you know, things happened. So let's roll back to August of 2020 when I decided to tear this thing apart. Final hurrah, final goodbye to this bathroom and this step up tub thing. It takes up so much space. I started by taking the doors off and uh, yeah. Johnny and the other guy just left for the day and I wanna show you guys what it looks like because it looks crazy in there already and tomorrow the demo will be totally done. Okay, welcome to my construction zone bedroom. <laughs> Johnny built a wall so that none of the dust and everything gets into the area where I sleep, obviously. That's not good for you. And then for the bathroom, ta-da! Oh my god, okay. So they obviously removed all of the glass around the shower. Now it's exposed. The entire vanity has been demolished, ready for plumbing. They started removing this structure with the lighting, which is great. So they have to do this side as well. This had like the big overhead, so chunky. And it feels so much more open already. Like I just, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel such a difference. And then the medicine cabinet is gone and they're gonna demo, I think, the rest of it tomorrow. So the tub will go tomorrow. Everything has to be done like in steps and stages. And then I'm sure they'll get rid of this. And once everything is gone, he's gonna start working the plumbing. So he's gonna move, obviously, the shower to this area and then the bath over here. He said two to three weeks. Only two to three? I was thinking three to four. Two to three feels good to me. Okay, day two of demo. I can't really go, I mean, I guess I can kind of go in there. I don't really know where to move the door though. I just wanna see what's going on in there. Oh my God. Okay, let me squeeze the camera in. Oh my God. Okay, so this is, this is what we're working with today for day two. Demo has fully happened. I mean, I mean, what? Okay, here we go with the end of the day on day three of the bathroom right now. It is completely emptied. The first few days of the demolition process was so insane to see. The amount of stuff that was in there was insane. And just watching it become this like bare space where you can kind of start to visualize what it's gonna look like. Like how crazy is this? So crazy. This is so crazy. You can actually see the old paint before I moved in. You can definitely see when I bought the place, they had a painter come in and paint all the walls white. But you can see what the color was uh, when this place was built. I decided that I wanted to change the layout a bit. So I had to change some plumbing, move some stuff around. And I ultimately wanted to put the shower where the bath was because the bath was taking up so much space in there. And it was like this old built-in vibe. I wanted more of a standalone tub with like a really big walk-in shower. And so that's what we did. So after demo and getting rid of everything in there, which was a lot of stuff. We started framing out the bathroom again, which was super cool to see. This is where the bath was and the step up and everything. This whole thing is gonna be my shower. It's going to be so nice. Obviously over here, we're gonna keep the vanity where it was. And then this is where my shower was and we'll be putting the bath in here. So tomorrow, Johnny's gonna be starting with the plumbing. So he's gonna start like getting ready to put in a bath faucet. The one I'm gonna do is actually gonna come from the wall, which is gonna be, I think, really cool. I think he's gonna start working with the plumbing for the shower. And then also he's gonna start working on the lighting, get rid of this thingy, replace the fan and put it on a different switch. Yeah, it's just, this is so insane. Week two, day two of the bathroom renovation. So I can't really say how much has been done. I don't really, I don't really know. Cause I think it's all like, like things I can't see that's been happening. Visually things are not changing that much. But today they did fill in the shelf here with like the cement 
stuff that they're using. I don't, I'm not totally sure. And then they made two holes for where the lights are gonna be in the shower and then we planned out where the other lights are gonna go. We're working on some plumbing stuff. They did some stuff <laughs> with some other stuff. So yeah, this is kind of what it is looking like currently. After everything was framed, they obviously started to put the bathroom back together. I had to pick what I wanted for my vanity. We had that custom done and it turned out beautifully. Had to pick out the tub, the toilet, tiles and everything. It's weird to talk about this now because there's so much that I've learned through renovating my house in Toronto that I didn't know when I did this bathroom. I didn't go in person to pick out the tiles and see everything in person. My contractor had gone and just sent me pictures of options and I just picked from his options. Worked out very well, like the bathroom turned out beautifully, but I know a lot more now. <laughs> things that I probably would have done a little differently in the bathroom. I still think it's gorgeous. There's just some things that I would have done, but I didn't know that then. So can't really blame myself. We are officially two weeks into the master bathroom renovation. So things are really starting to form and I think this next week is gonna be like majorly transformational for this room. So you can see today, they really started covering up all the walls. They really worked on the drywall over here and then over here we just have paper covering the wall because they still have to do some plumbing stuff for the bathtub here. But they also did a drywall where the vanity is gonna be and put in two different plugs as well as the pendant lights or where they're gonna go or Potentially these will have to move. I don't we don't know yet And then actually my contractor had some people come in for my vanity because we're gonna do custom So we measured that out and I told them exactly where I want it the dimensions and all in the shower This is like the biggest thing we did today was the hot mop so you can see it is black and uh it reeks. <laughs> it smells so bad, I can't even tell you. It's like disgusting. I had been warned that hot mop smelled really bad, but like way worse than I expected. But at least, you know, they did it today and they can start working on the shower next week. We started filling up this wall as well. And then they also put in the lights. So there's two lights over the shower and then there's gonna be three down the middle, one over the tub. And then if I feel like it's not bright enough, I'll have them put more in, but this is what it's looking like right now. My old light is uh, just on the side over here. Here's where the, uh, the switches are, and I guess they've done something here. This is two weeks into the master bathroom. So as most of you guys know, if you were watching the vlogs back then when I started this process, I went back to Toronto in the beginning of September and I just didn't go back for a year. By the time I left for Toronto, the shower was like 99% done. I could see what it looked like, but there was no tub, no vanity. I'm pretty sure the floors weren't even done, like no tile on the ground. And I only saw that for the first time in August of 2021. Crazy, or July, maybe end of July. I still didn't have any mirrors on the wall, no sconces on the walls, none of the little accessories, like a little toilet paper holder or a towel rack. None of that was there because I wanted to see the space in person before I picked any of that stuff. My parents came to visit and my dad helped install some of those little accessories. Why? Hold it. You tell me where you want it. Maybe like here. You don't want it there. Yeah. That's easy. You don't want it there. So maybe there. <laughs> what do I know? And then I'm gonna give you the hold. I can hold something. Hold that there. Give me another one. I'm watching that. And then with any luck, I think I got it. Wow. Look at that towel nice. rack. It looks level. It does look level. Like well, maybe. Maybe there, there, I think that's good. Right height? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know. Voila, fantastic. But I didn't have time to get the mirrors or anything like that while I was here, so that was only done when I got back here this time. Okay, I hope this looks good. Oh, here it is. Where is it go? I wanna see what this looks like. Okay, wait, I want to see what this one looks like too. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, not so bad. Honestly, I think it's pretty straight. It's pretty straight. It's slightly it's off. Slightly, but not uh, like. Not I think like, I'm just gonna leave it be. I think it's pretty like. It's it's not so yeah. It's, it's fine. Be. We're just gonna leave it. The bottom is we go a little down. You see that not a little up. I can't see it. Okay. So you gotta uh, tell me. The boyfriend and I got the mirrors up on the walls. We got Johnny coming back to do the sconces and then it was done. I don't have bulbs in the sconces, but you know what? The vibe is done. It's done, it's complete and it's beautiful. So are we ready for the final reveal? Da da da, three, two, one.
I am so happy that you've finally seen it. I've finally posted this video. I've been waiting so long, so long, and I'm so relieved you guys have finally seen it. Hope you enjoyed watching this process, even though it's very delayed. <laughs> like some of this footage is so old. It's so weird to put a video up that is, you know, two years old. It's from 2020. Different times, different world, different life, but here we are. It's complete. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Freaking crazy. Finally, finally. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have so many things coming up that you're gonna freak out over. I have so many things coming up for the vlog soon. So definitely subscribe if you are not currently subscribed and I will see you in the next vlog in a very beautiful tropical location. Okay, love you, bye.